big race that we are following tonight. Sheriff Javier Salazar taking a lot of heat for the number of deputies getting arrested, mistakenly releasing inmates and in custody deaths during his first term. Now half a dozen people are looking to take his job and a lot of them our fellow Democrats. Yeah, that includes an embattled former constable facing serious legal problems, former employees of the Bear County Sheriff's Office, and uh, retired state troopers and law enforcement willing to go back to work tonight in the Sheriff's Office. Here are the results as of now, 56%, an overwhelming lead uh, for Javier Salazar, the incumbent, Sharon Rodriguez at 17%, Michelle Barrientes Vela at 12%, and Jose Trevino at 9%. Again, all these Bear County numbers are early voting on the Republican side. Two men with decades of law enforcement experience, Willie Ning and Gary Garcia. Well, they're second and third. Jerry Rickoff is right now leading in this race. He's the former Bear County clerk. He has no law enforcement experience that I know of, and he right now is leading in the early vote with 52% of the vote, Willie Ning at 32%. Again, if Rickoff finishes with 50% or more, he will avoid a runoff, but again, these are still early voting numbers. It's been, been a very interesting night in the sheriff's race. Our Tim Gerber has been covering both of these races tonight. Tim, let's go ahead and check in with him. Well, despite all the issues, voters in the Democratic primary overwhelmingly giving their vote to Sheriff Javier Salazar, allowing him to avoid a potential runoff and now able to focus all of his attention on winning in November. Salazar addressing his supporters here at the backyard on Broadway earlier tonight. The sheriff has had a difficult first term leading BCSO, as you mentioned, highlighted by numerous arrests of his deputies and jailers, escapes, mistaken releases of inmates and inmate suicides, including the one that just happened today. Salazar says, many of the issues he's faced are problems that have existed at that agency for decades. He says he needs more time to make more reforms. Part of the problem, part of the issue, as I see it at the sheriff's office, has been a little instability over the last several sheriffs. It's been a, a string of, stream of, of one-turn sheriffs, and so I'm hoping to stick around a little while. Some of the plans that I have, and they're great plans, are going to take some time to implement. And so And again, over on the Republican side, former longtime Bear County clerk Jerry Rickoff, a surprise for many tonight. No law enforcement experience. At this point, he is the leader on the Republican side. He lost his job as clerk November 2018 when that red wave crashed over county uh, positions here in Bear County. We caught up to him. He did not have uh, a watch party tonight. He was at home, and here's what he had to say. I represent a change in thinking. I plan on developing unique programs to address these issues by using science and technology to observe, measure, and test, and look for observable points that need continuous improvement. And that's where we'll focus to solve the problems at the jail and in how we police the public. <laughs> And should Rickoff not hold on to that lead that he has now and slip below 50 percent, he would then be in a runoff, most likely with former chief criminal investigator for the district attorney's office, Willie Ng. His, he's running as a reformer, hoping to fix BCSO. I'm feeling really optimistic. You know, we did everything that we could, everything. My whole team, we, we worked really hard. We got out in the community. We did everything. We did the digital. We did the mail. We did the, with the uh, phone banking. We did uh, text messaging. We did everything. So I'm very proud of the team. And when uh, win or lose, well, we did a great, we did a lot of great work. So when it comes to the sheriff's race, it looks like Salazar is a lock. Still a little early to declare who the winner would be between Rickoff or if he will have to face a runoff with Willie Ng. We'll continue to watch those numbers as they come in. For now, reporting live on Broadway with the Sheriff Salazar campaign, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.